Uh. All right. Oh, shit. Hey, guys. This is Mario Ranchi, brand strategist and founder of Manufacture. Today, we have another Ambitions of an Agency. I'm going to talk about... Um, what am I going to talk about today? I'm talking about mentors and you know, um, outlier knowledge. And basically, this is what's going to be about. So mentors are people that are basically people who help you along the way, find out things that you didn't know and guide you to certain outcomes that you didn't know you could. And so it's very important to get mentors. And I like to categorize mentors into three different side of things. So the first mentor is the well-known mentor, the popular mentor, someone who is really well-known, very hard to reach, um, or maybe not, but like very hard to reach, has a lot of, you know, a, a lot of stuff to be done, right? Because that they're not only just a mentor, they have a ton of other things. And, you know, so these are people like Tony Robbins, these people like Gary Vee, these are people like, um, you know, just these these different type of, you know, Tom Bellew, um, Simon Sinek, Seth Godin, all these people. So these people, these type of people are incredibly hard to reach, uh, but you can't still reach them. That's not the point. You can't still reach them, you know, but it would be very hard to get a mentorship with them because everyone is already being mentored by them. So, you know, you, you, are, you would have to do something. Either you pay for them or something like that, or you know, you find a way to give value to them in a, pro in a proper way. But these mentors, they have a vast amount of knowledge, very popular, very important people, and they can offer you a really, really good amount of knowledge, not just with, you know, if you were with, within them, right, with, you know, in their circle and talking to them, but if you read their books, looked at their, you know, how they do things, how do they act, you know, their body language, all this type of stuff, you can learn a lot from just looking at these people and studying their work and looking at their actions. So that's those are the first ones, right? Second ones are more so, you know, um, the best type of mentors, and I believe are the best type of mentors, are the outlier mentors. People who you don't necessarily know are in the public eye all of a sudden, but they are up and coming. They are people who are up and coming in their industry. They've kind of already kind of felt a little bit of success or already have done a little bit of success have proven a proven concept of a service or a or a, a proven concept of a, of a thing that they wanted to do or a business right are and are just upcoming to do something right and these people usually are on Facebook um, they're running Facebook ads or you know Instagram ads or anything it's hard to tell the ones from the really the one the really good ones from the the uh, was it the scammy ones because it's hard but usually the ones that are not as scammy are the ones with more value-based intent meaning they put out really good copy in their ads and they talk about all this different stuff how they can help you and all this stuff that's more important than someone who flashes a Lamborghini or all this type of stuff in front of their profile and I'm not judging them right it's a good tactic but you know those people like Ty Lopez you know uh, just there's a ton of them, but basically Ty Lopez clones all of those people. You probably want to steer away from them, uh, mainly because first of all they have a lot of volume. If if they have if they have a lot of first pers people in their course, they have a lot of volume in their course that they've systemized their course to the point that it's not as personal anymore. Whereas if you were to pick someone who's up and coming and doesn't have that much notoriety, so to say, and is just putting out Facebook ads to get you know. Give them a chance, right? Look in and research and really see and give them a chance, right? And that's for me, I think, is kind of why I've been able to catalyst my business so fast at the moment is because I have a mentor, someone who can help me get there to the goal that I'm supposed to. Now, the thing about this mentor, this guy is really good at understanding, you know, design businesses as problem solving machines, basically. And I thought that was one of the biggest things that when I saw him, and you know went through his you know his whole services and his his videos that he put out but most importantly um he was able to really understand you know the problems i was having and coach me through them to get to certain points in my business now like you know all the lead generation stuff that was all him you know understanding how to you know get out there and do all that stuff that was all him he gave me that push 
But all the work that I did was just following his orders. So that's what you want. You want a mentor who's up and coming, right? First of all, he doesn't have much attention, right? He doesn't have much attention, so he's somebody who isn't as going to be as busy, or if he's busy, he's not going to be as unfocused as a lot of people. Because the more you grow a group and the more you grow a following, the less focused it is to people. And really, what I fig feel that a mentor should be is more focused. If anything, a one-to-one -one conversation is more powerful than a person talking to a whole group, you know? But it's possible that a, a, a person can get value out of a whole presentation. It is possible. No one's saying that. I'm just saying the interaction and the depth of level of, of actual taking action and really acting on an, a mentor's advice will be more probable when they are one-to-one. -one. It's like a coach, you know, coaching a, a basketball player. It's the same sort of dynamic, really. It's like he's telling you, do this, do this, tell me the results, come back to me, right? And then I said, I do this, I didn't know how to do this. Uh, but can you help me get to this? And he said, okay, let's do this again. Let's try this. And then we regroup and we do it again and again and again and again until we keep moving forward and we get more results. So you really want someone who's up and coming, has a proven process, isn't as surrounded by people as they need to be. And you better get in there quick because if they're good, they will grow a following pretty fast, such as with my mentor. He grows a pro following pretty fast. You know, the group I was in was at least 10 people, at least at one point, and then it grew to 15, then to 25, then to 30, you know, and it continues, 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 continues to grow each day. So um, it's incredibly valuable, but you need to get someone who's in the very beginning. And timing is so important in that way. You got to really know, you know, timing, right? It's incredibly important because you don't want to be left in a group, and I see this with many groups. There's a bunch of mastermind groups, but there's too many people in them, and it's really, it can get crowded over time. And there's not enough focus on the depth of conversation between a person, right? So, whereas if you were in a group that was completely generalized, and all these people came in and wanted to get mentorship from that one person, uh, they would have a trouble you know, getting their questions specifically out. They would either have to talk to them either like, you know, at a different time period, not during the sessions that they can do, because if, you know, if they have, if, if, if it's certain sessions, then that's great. But if it's an all around like a webinar sort of format, then it will take, it will be not as, you know, it won't work as well, you know. So that's really what you need to do. I think that's for me is the best type of mentor you can have. And then you use the type of other mentors uh, the big mentors, the ones that are like Seth Godin, all the stuff, just to supplement your knowledge, so to say, right? And these are the people in the middle I call outliers, outlier mentors, right? Because they're not the normal ones, they're not the specific, the ones in the spotlight all the time, but they're the ones that have the most value in them if you search and you research enough. And they have the most understanding of a topic, surprisingly right because they're just up and coming they have more tenacity to learn and to keep learning right and so the methodology my mentor uses is, is still it's all messy it's iteration but it is still the way you know i want to do things as well you know messy put out stuff put out content put out this put out that and do all this type of stuff right so that's what I, that's where i found my mentor and that's why my mentor is really 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 good and I think he's the one reason I catalyst my business so far, which is good, you know. Um, and then the third type of mentors, um, the third type of mentors are basically friends that are helpful, right? And friends that are helpful are mentors that you not necessarily are in a committed relationship with or committed mentorship with, but they are people who are, you know, better than you or they just know more than you and but they're for your friends they know more than you they did you know but you're not in like a committed mentor to mentee relationship they're just giving you advice hey do this hey do that i talked about this i talked about that you're equals in that matter of way of thinking so it's kind of good to have those three sort of ways three mentors that you have in your life those are the three ones that you need to actually understand the things that you're doing get better at the things that you're doing and really have an understanding of how to get better, how to move forward, and how to push through those barriers that you had. 
So that's it. Those are my tips for finding mentors. And I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more content like this. And turn on notifications. And I will see you in the next video.